When I was like 24, there was an old guy that hung out at one of the bars. Oh, yeah. And he would just drink and then throw punches in the air. <laughs> and say, you're talking to me. And he would throw punches, <laughs> you know. You know the whole fucking thing. Oh, yeah, dude. So I'm doing coke in this bar, and every day he talked to himself. And, yeah, I'll fucking kick your ass. And he yeah. throw jabs. Huh? And one day I asked the bartender, what's up with this fucking guy? He goes, you don't know Johnny Reed? I go, nah. You know, it was 1984. I'm a kid. I don't know Johnny Reed. He goes, I go, is he crazy? He goes, you don't know what he did? I go, nah. He goes, he tried to kill himself, jumped out of a building, and landed in the garbage dumpster. Oh. And he just bopped his head so now he's fucked up he would get a check from the government on the first and he would just give it to the bartender and say tell me when it's over by the 18th he'd be broke and he'd be in there fucking arguing with the bartender i locked him in the bathroom one day dog i locked him in the bathroom at 2 30 in the afternoon yeah because in jersey the bathroom's locked from the outside mm -hmm. he was driving us crazy talking about boxing 1964 <laughs> i took him to the body and we're like johnny knock it off <laughs> he went into the bathroom like, i can't take johnny no more we locked him we left <laughs> we leave oh you got him i came back at nine i go to the bathroom he's still in the bathroom <laughs> locked he came and he's like woo that's the noise he made when i opened the door he goes woo this guy <laughs> used to fuck me like we give him up then towards the end we go johnny you ever do coke <laughs> I give him a line of coke, and that would put his embryism, whatever craziness he had, he'd go even worse. Oh. And I still remember giving him a line of coke like at two in the morning, like a bump, yeah. and then being in the car at five, oh, going yeah. to the city to get coke, and seeing him walking over the George Washington Bridge, <laughs> throwing fucking laps. And I'm like, oh my God, we can't give that motherfucker lines no more. And then I cracked him one day, I just showed him my dick. Yeah. I put it on the stool next to him. Oh, yeah. And he was right on the stool, and he's like, and I go, Johnny, he goes, what? And I go, look at this. And he goes, wow. And he just fucking, <laughs> he just watched the basketball game. He goes, wow. And he just, I'm like fucking dying. Only Johnny could do this. I've been asking about him. What happened to him? He's got to be dead by now. He was 50, 60 when that shit in the 80s. Dude, I re we had a guy, we had this dude, Mr. Dennis, and everybody just called him Danny, right? This guy in our neighborhood, he kind of like, uh, he was just like an adult, right? But he had this son named Rocky was his son, right? And so... Uh, Rocky was like, I don't know if something was wrong with him, but something was pretty much wrong with him, right? Like, he just wasn't, you couldn't really rely on him. Like, if you told him something, it didn't matter because he didn't really know, like, what was going on a lot of times, right? So you wouldn't share, like, a, a lot of information with him. But Rocky had a fucking cock on him, right? So one time we're all outside, and Mr. Denny goes, Rocky, show him that cock, right? His own son, dude. And we're all like, what the fuck, dude? And Rocky fucking showed that cock, bro. And everybody was like, damn, Rocky's got that cock on him, bro. And then after that, it would always, like, anytime we were, that Mr. Denny was around, he would be like, Rocky, show him that cock, huh? And Rocky would fucking get his cock. Now, Rocky wasn't all there. No, he wasn't he all was there, He was missing a bro. couple of bricks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was definitely... But he was like... You know, he was healthy enough. Like, he could enjoy Christmas and shit, you know? It wasn't like he was like, you know, like you got to keep him in the back or whatever. You can, he was definitely like, you know... He was a cool guy. Like, you could play games with him and shit. Like, it wasn't like he was like... He just wasn't real bright and his mouth was always wet, you know? But the dad would be like, Rocky, show him that Show him cock. that dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, show him that cock, Rocky. Because most of those, like, mentally challenged, like, retards, they got big dicks. Yeah. And they're horny, too. They'll fuck you to death. Oh, dude, you'll recalk your living room, dude. Them boys so are I saw fucking, I was up at uh, in Salem, Oregon one time. Mm -hmm. Eugene. And it was... Uh, uh, whatever special Olympian convention at the hotel we were doing comedy mm -hmm. not good and I was working with a feature act who had huge tits with cleavage oh, she yeah. was on stage and one of the kids was walking by and he saw her tits and he started making nee, nee, nee. Yeah. he started making noises yeah that just doing the Biden you think him. I'm fucking kidding you I was watching the whole thing go down and I'm watching this kid why is he going crazy he was looking at her tits and there was two fucking big black guys, like University of Oregon football players that work in security. There was a point they couldn't contain him. Yeah. He was just going, yeah, 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 yeah. and they had to fucking tackle him. Mm. He was pushing the oh, brothers out of the way. I was like, this fuck is, because they're strong too. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. They're I think strong they... too. So you got to be careful. They'll hold you down and fuck you to death with that oh, big yeah. fucking, oh, put that big fucking Special Olympian dick. Hey, You're going to have some problems, dog. Uh, yeah, you can't let them pet an animal for too long, that's for sure, brother. That shit will escalate.